The Back Rooms, The Infinite Labyrinth, Level 84, Shifting Hedge Maze, Section 1, Level 84, Survival Difficulty, Class 3, Unsafe, Secure and Habitable Areas, Medium Entity Count. Level 84 is the 85th level of the back rooms. It is a maze made out of leaves, with some safe zones scattered in the level. Image Caption A photo of one of the many routes within level 84. Description Level 84 is an expansive hedge maze with high walls made out of dark green leaves. Many routes that lead essentially nowhere, and light fog persisting at all times. Occasionally, routes can lead to small rooms imitating various areas of a suburban home, such as living rooms, kitchens, and bedrooms. Rarely, the furniture in one of these areas will be arranged seemingly in random positions within the space, and in disrepair. Footnote this detail was added later. See Log 001 on Section 2, Level 84 Tales and Stories. End footnote. Currently, at the time of writing, the cause of this damage is unknown. However, Level 84 isn't just a maze. Every so often, wanderers can come across large spacious areas dotted throughout with trees, foliage, and concrete walkways. These have been labeled by Level 84 inhabitants and wanderers as safety parks. Safety parks. These are the main zones to meet other wanderers. These areas are generally habitable because entities seldom enter them, and supply crates filled with useful items such as almond water, weapons, and various materials will appear regularly. While the maze shifts and changes its routes and rooms randomly, these safe zones will usually be the same. Variety Parks When you come across one of these safe zones, there's a rare chance it could be a variety park, which is a special subtype of safety parks. Variety Parks, in their most basic definition, is a safety park that has its own unique effect. Footnote See Section 3, Level 84 Variety Parks Listings. End footnote. Entities. Entities, as mentioned before, live in the maze. However, there is a very rare chance that the sky will darken for approximately one to three hours, allowing entities to enter the safe zones and attack wanderers residing in them. All entities that have been documented within the level are smilers, hounds, and rarely skin stealers and facelings. Additional information. Upon further inspection, the furniture found within the maze appears antique, and it is unknown where it came from. It has been found that skin stealers can bypass the quote-unquote rules of level 84 and walk into the safe zones. If they are discovered, however, they will run back into the maze. No other entity within the level displays this behavior. Climbing on top of the hedge maze is impossible, as those who managed to climb three quarters of the way up reported extreme fear preventing them from continuing. Bases, Outposts, and Communities Meg, Major Explorer Group, Green Market Hub, Outer Market Hub, and Wanderer Resting Areas the Meg have outposts and bases set up sparsely in some of the main safe zones. These bases and outposts are usually open for wanderers to trade supplies or items they've gathered. Most Meg members in these bases or outposts are also armed in case of a nighttime attack. Some Meg members have created housing units by using some furniture and appliances from the maze. Entrances and Exits Entrances. The metro can occasionally stop at level 84. No clipping into some foliage on level 97 can send you to level 84. Walking into a human-sized hole in one of the bushes on level 62 can lead you to level 84. One of the doors on level 82 can lead you to level 84. Exits. 
attempting to no-clip through the hedge maze walls can either clip you into level 10 or level 118. Being caught inside the walls while they shift can send you to level 90. A worn-down bluish metal door found within the maze will take you to level 85. A gate leading to a sandy desert outside of the maze will lead you to level 46. Touching a party hat in one of the room-like areas of the maze will send you to somewhere fun, smiley face. Touching or no-clipping with a majority of objects or walls in VP3, see the third section, will send wanderers to level 0, level 1, or level 2. Section 2. Level 84 Tales and Stories Stories, Interviews, and Logs listed below. Access Log 001 Subject 1 Female, Author of Log, Living Subject 2 Female, Author's Friend, Unknown Status Entry 0 Today, my best friend and I are going to explore the maze after two or three days staying within this safety park, making this log in case we find anything. Entry 1 it's been a little bit, but we found a little room with a cozy table and a party hat on top. How charming. I was going to take it with us, but my friend screamed not to. It was a little scary, but she's been around these places longer than I have, so I trust her judgment. Entry 2. It's been a little longer, and we still haven't found a safety park. Or anything for that matter. The page says there are these room-like areas, but we haven't found any besides that party hat room. This is weird, and Subject 2 thinks so too. Entry 3. We finally found something interesting for once. There's these couches and chairs. They look all scratched up, thrashed, and thrown around quite a bit. It looks like the rumors were right. Entry 4. Something is nearby. Entry 5. We saw a skin stealer earlier. It didn't even attack us, but the minute it was discovered, it ran away screaming. We didn't chase after it, of course, but this is something new. Entry 6. The walls are groaning. Subject 2 is worried, and I can't blame her. Those noises would scare anyone. Entry 7. The walls, they took her. The walls took her from me. I don't know where she's gone. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? They moved, and she was gone. Please, I miss her. Come back, please. End of Log 001 Access IW 001 Subject 3 Male, Interviewer, Living Subject 1 Female, Interviewee, Author of Log 001 Unknown Status This is the first time Subject 1 has left their living quarters in the past three days. Subject 3 Good morning, Subject 1 Subject 1. Not a good morning for me. 3. Um, quite unfortunate, yes. Anyways, may we ask you some questions? 1. That's the whole reason I'm here, so yeah, sure, go for it. 3. Okay, well, first, tell us about what you saw exactly from the skin stealer. 1. It's a bit fuzzy, but we found someone, out in the maze. They really weren't making sense, so my friend... God, sorry, give me a minute. Okay. Three. Take all the time you need to. One. Alright, so, uh, subject two. Took out her sheave that she made a while back, and cut the wanderer's hand a bit, and it was clear, right? But it didn't attack us, it just screamed and ran back deeper into the maze. Three. Interesting. Very interesting. Yes, inter- One. Alright, next question. Come on, hurry the hell up. Three. Excuse- Okay, listen, we understand what you're going through, but let us keep this interview professional. 1. Excuse me? You do not get to fucking say that. Somebody out there is my best friend, who I've known all my life, and she's stuck in some godforsaken level, or worse, dead, and I don't know how to get her back. 3. Calm down. 1. No. No, I won't. Fuck you. Consider this dumbass interview done. I'm not coming back. Subject 1 stormed away and into their living quarters. She was later spotted running into the maze while the walls were shifting. She has not been seen since. Access Log 002 Subject 4 Male Author of Log Living Entry 0 
The sky is changing. Writing this log because something odd is about to happen. I can feel it. Entry 1. It's nighttime? I haven't seen this before. Something must have gone wrong. Entry 2. The entities are coming into the safety park. I'm currently holed up in my living quarters, and the only defense I've got is this makeshift spear, but it'll have to work. Entry 3. At the risk of my own life, I'm attempting to document this rare phenomenon. I can see a handful of smilers and a hound or two illuminated in one of the smilers' glow. The sky is completely black now. No stars or anything. Entry 4. I can hear so many screams, most likely unarmed civilians. Entry 5. I don't know how long it's been. The screams have stopped, but I refuse to leave until the sun comes back over the level. Entry 6. Documentation is hard. From my field of vision inside here, I can see the glow of a smiler, but not the smiler itself. I think it can make out a hound, but I'm not sure. I'm lucky I haven't been spotted yet. Entry 7. How long does this damn night last? Entry 8. The sun is back. All the entities, as far as I can tell, have retreated back into the maze. The damage is severe. A lot of casualties, though a lot of us survived. From the looks of it, most of these people around me hadn't seen that before either. Entry 9. It's been a bit, but everything seems to be back to normal. It's still daytime. Night hasn't fallen since. End of Log 002 Access the Tale of the Forgotten Night Rumors about the night spread across the camps like wildfire, which worried the new ones, as there had not been one prior. Rumors of soldiers battling in the so-called safety parks. So into the maze most people embark, for an escape is what they seek, an escape from this maze, but they would not find it, not within these pathways. Access Log 003 Subject 5 Male Author of Log Founder 1 of F3 Living Subject 6 Female Founder 2 of F3 Living Subject 7 Male Founder 3 of F3 Living Entry 0 About damn time I found a safety park. Seems unpopulated. I'll keep updating this log to mark my progress. Entry 1. Unfortunately, I have to go back in the maze, as I don't have any materials or things of that regard. Entry 2. Hey, I'm back. Luckily, the maze trek was an undisturbed one. I got two chairs, but that's about it. It seems I'll need more people if I really want to make this happen. Entry 3. After a couple more maze trips to get any furniture I can carry, I came back and there was actually two people in the safety park with me. Perfect. Entry 4. It took some persuasion, but with my natural skills, I've convinced them to join my little cause I've got going. We're planning to wait for the next supply crate restock, and then head back out. Entry 5. Okay, I totally forgot to update this, but things have been going really well. We found some kitchen appliances this time and carried them back to our little place. But while we did that, we started discussing what we were going to name our safety park. We eventually decided on F3, since there's three founders of the place, me, Subject 6, and Subject 7. I think it's a pretty sick name, to be honest. Entry 6. More people came in today, so we all have just been gathering furniture from the maze, getting supplies from the crates, all that stuff. Entry 7. Okay, things have been getting busy, so I haven't had too much time on my hands to write these logs, but we've got our first house. Obviously, us founders live in there, but our main priority now is to make living quarters for all the people still here. Entry 8 Okay, back once again. Living quarters set up. Now our goal is farms, so we don't have to rely on the supply crates. Entry 9 One of our members apparently found something in the maze. Subject 6 Has been put in charge of F3 while Subject 7 and I are heading into the maze to check it out. We've brought weapons. This could be a trap. Entry 10. We've got a problem. That member found the exit. It's a bluish metal door, and we've gone back to F3 to look at our options. On one hand, we've done all this work on F3, and it'd be a waste to get rid of this progress. But, then again, it's the exit for us to continue through. We don't know what to do, but we have to act fast. The maze could shift, and then the exit would no longer be an option. 
In tree 11, we came to a consensus that we would alert our residents of F3 to the door's location, but the founders must stay. Surprisingly, not a lot of people left our little place here. That's pretty good, I think. In tree 12, okay, I hate to do this, but I can't keep up with the log writing while I'm busy manning F3 with the founders, but, uh, stay safe out there, I guess. I don't know how to end things, really. I suppose if you're reading this, try and find F3. We're always looking for new residents. Section 3. Level 84, Variety Parks Listings. When you come across a safety park, there's a rare chance it could be a variety park, which is just a safety park that has its own special and unique effect. All names and effects listed below. VP1, Purple Forest. This park's usually dark green leaves, grass, and trees have all turned unnatural shades of purple and ooze a toxic liquid. The crates of supplies that would regularly appear here are instead filled with inherently useless items like bottle caps, paper clips, and tissue paper. VP2 Up and Away This park lacks trees and bushes. The grass is dead brown, and the concrete walkways are cracked and filled with moss. These effects seem to almost teleport, as they will leave their current zone in a flash, and another previously normal safety park will gain these attributes just as quickly. It's rumored that there's a clipped wall or object leading to another level hidden in the variety park ridden with this effect, but this has not been confirmed and is inconclusive. If you do happen to find a clipped object or wall in this variety park, please find a Meg outpost or base and notify Meg staff immediately and lead them back to where you found it as quickly as possible. VP3 Clipped Park This park is extremely risky to enter, as any misstep or mistouch could clip you into a far earlier level. One way to tell this park apart from others is that many of the walls, objects, and trees will seem as though they're vibrating. Do not enter this park unless you are being chased by an entity, and must enter the zone to stay alive. VP4 Frozen Waste This park is extremely cold, with its lowest recorded temperature being negative 11 degrees Celsius. The cause of this cold is currently unknown. But, as a consequence of this cold, icicles have formed on the trees, and there is a thin layer of snow over the zone. It is not recommended that you stay here for long, as the cold can become dangerous and inflict hypothermia. VP5 Entity Hive Entities overrun this park. According to witnesses and former inhabitants of the park, entities swarm this area at nighttime, but refuse to leave when day broke forcing the inhabitants to find a new residence. Currently, it is believed that entities are somewhat drawn to this variety park, but why this happens is unknown, if even true. VP6 Unknown Statue This park is not exactly a park. There are no trees or foliage, just a patch of grass in the middle and a weeping angel statue on top, leaking tear-like liquid. Most of this variety park is still unexplained, However, some believe in a hidden puzzle that, once solved, should theoretically cause the entities to disappear. Some believe the place leads to a sublevel, though these rumors are unconfirmed.